Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today I'm going to go over some of the basic steps that you need to take when you find out that you are going to be divorcing or should you want to instigate and start the divorce process. I'm telling you this because I'm aware at this point of where you are in the divorce journey, you're probably crying all the time, you're really depressed. Divorce is trauma. It's a type of death. It's a death of an idea. It's a death of a dream. Um, it's a death of an identity. So these are the early days and you are probably at a complete loss and you don't know what to do. But I'm going to tell you what steps that you need to take in order to get you through the process so that you can heal and that you can feel good about your life and um, move on from this phase. First of all, what you have to do is you have to find legal representation. You need a divorce attorney. You need a divorce lawyer. Um, I know that many people will not do this because they're going to say it's not affordable or it's not even worth it. But for the vast majority of people, you have to remember that you won't be able to fill out the paperwork very easily and it's well worth your time to find a divorce lawyer. Myself, I must have interviewed over 12 lawyers. Do not go with the first lawyer that you meet. What you need to figure out is if your lawyer is experienced in the situation and the kind of divorce that you're having. So let's say you're divorcing somebody and they don't have, they have a different nationality or you're living overseas or, um, you know, the situation is com complicated because of involvement with a family business. You know, there's a lot of situations that arise. You want to make sure that your divorce attorney is experienced and you should be confident and ask questions. Another thing to note about divorce lawyers is you should not assume anything um, based on appearances of your lawyer. So simply because your lawyer is a man does not mean that this divorce lawyer will not be able to help you simply because your lawyer is a woman does not necessarily mean that this lawyer will be the best kind of lawyer for your case. So be open-minded when you pick an attorney, but you must pick and interview multiple attorneys, okay? Don't just take anybody. Try, what you want to do is reach out to friends, ask for referrals, um, reach out to colleagues, ask for referrals, and get the best lawyer that you can who understands what you're going through. That's the most important thing. Second thing is that you need to take stock of is all of your finances and your assets, your income, what you share in common, your airline miles, your registration for this or that. Because what ultimately you're doing is dissolving a business partnership. You are upset and you're crying and you feel like you can't go on because you're viewing it as an emotional dissolution, which it is. It is the end of your marriage on a personal and intimate level. But what you now have to do is to put that stuff aside to some degree and you need to focus on dissolving the business partnership that existed between you. Divorce is a dissolution of marriage and marriage was originally a business and legal construct that was developed between two families to shore up the interest of um, the family's property and businesses and alliances. Marriage was never invented to be a situation of love. If you're looking at it from historic purposes, it was supposed to be a business arrangement. So you need to approach now this situation as a business arrangement, okay? Third thing that you need to do is you need to get emotional help because yes, it's a business arrangement, but 
it was your marriage. This is a person you thought you were going to love and be with for the rest of your life. You might have children. You had dreams. You uh, thought you were one thing and now you're another. So you need to get emotional advice and emotional counseling. So you need to seek out therapy, not simply for yourself, but if you have children, you need to find people who will be there to support your child as your child also makes this journey. And why is this? Because quite often your child may not want to talk to you about it and your child may not want to talk to your spouse about it and maybe there will be somebody that your child can lean on during this time and during this phase where they're transitioning, okay? Finally, what you need to do is you need to start writing this. You write it out. During this time period, you keep a journal. You write down what you're feeling. You don't have to make sense of it. You're just recording all of your emotions. You're recording the events that happen. Um, this is you just taking stock of where you are. And when you are ready, what you need to do is to write your divorce story for your legal file because this will make a difference. Laws, the vast majority of laws that we live under were authored by people who did not center your experience as a woman. In order for you to have a fair voice in this process, you must write the story of your divorce and put it in your legal file. You must always consult your attorney during this process, but writing a journal and keeping a journal is the first step to starting to write your divorce story. It's a good warm up. So this is my, those are my four pieces of advice. First, get a lawyer. Interview many lawyers, get a lawyer. Second, think about dissolving and taking stock of what your business relationship is as a marriage. Third, you need to get emotional help for yourself and your family. And fourth, start writing, journaling. And I know if you take these steps, you're gonna make it through and you will be able to author your life and live the life that you have always wanted to live. And so I believe this for you and um, wish you the best of luck on your journey. Aloha.